Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us is the Retechus TR111. This is an AM, FM, VHF, weather band, shortwave, portable radio with Bluetooth and MP3 player plus app control. Yep, it's that radio. Um, you can find this selling on Amazon for $54.99. This had a coupon, 15% off at the time I bought it, uh, bringing the price down to $46. Not bad. I like this particular one. I do own another one. Uh, I just wanted a second. This is fun. So let's check it out. The box, Retechus TR111, some information there. Now, I took everything out of the box to make this easier. Nothing else here to see. So let's see what we get in the box. Step aside. First things first, we get the star of the show. There it is, the TR-111. Pretty awesome. Love the dark green, by the way. So what else do we get? Uh, we get a carry lanyard. Nice. We get a charging cord. Simple uh, USB to Type-C. This kind you have to use for these low power devices. There you are. Not bad, Type-C. I like seeing that. And then we have a little carrying case. Nice. Nice little touches. And of course, we have our instruction manuals, which we'll go over real quick. Just gonna open this up and then it's all here for you and I'm just gonna slowly move it across the screen there's the QR code I believe if you're Android on the App Store you just search radio CT and that's how you get it downloaded so you can have the app to control your radio and you're wondering why would I need an app to control a radio well this particular app gives you a numeric keypad as you can see in this picture here pretty awesome that last page, oh, there's another page here. And it does so much, and it shows you quite a bit. You can see it shows you uh, signal noise ratio, um, gives quite a bit of frequency information. Of course, it gives you the ability to record. Um, this little radio lacks a lot of buttons because it's so compact. So they have this app to control it. Now, you'll find yourself pretty much using the app for the recording feature. That's what I use it for the most. And of course, uh, when you're surfing, it's nice to be able to just go direct enter to the frequency you're, you desire. So just going pretty quick here. So you have this because I have to spend a little time on features because it's kind of like an online manual here. <laughs> In case you lose yours, you have it. Okay, so that's the app part of the radio. Now we got the instructions for the radio. So here they give us a book. It's super thick. This weighs more than the radio itself. <laughs> it really is. So we're just going to flip through this really quick. 24 pages. So I'll only stop if I see something interesting which I do right away. You can set these values for FM and AM, as you can see, nine kilohertz, 10 kilohertz. So if you need the 10 kilohertz step, you need uh, choice number two. So you can set those options, nice. Of course, you have different colored um, LEDs for the display, which is nice depending on what band you're on or mode you're on. Okay, again, I'm gonna go a little quicker here. Okay, there's the app stuff, which we already went over. Pretty much what the radio looks like. Here's buttons, what they do. Okay, freeze frame. And I'll try to cover some of that. Now, if it, I, I feel like it's getting bogged down. I'll just keep going. We'll just turn the radio on and have some fun tuning it. And if you need to know any follow-up information, just go back to this part of the video and you'll learn how to do it just by reading um, if you can't download this manual. So there you go. There's our frequency coverage is pretty nice. There's your FM mode, VHF, 30 to 200 megahertz. Of course, AM standard band. Shortwave is 4.75 to 21.85. And of course, we got the seven channels on the weather band mode. Sweet. There you are. Trying to go quickly so we can get this done and get to the radio, right? That's what we want to be here for. But again, this is for posterity in case you need to set something. And if I go a little too fast or I miss something on the page, just say, you know, what, on that page, you know, what, what did it mean? And I'll definitely respond. We're almost through this and this will give you an idea so yeah it does use a sd card and the sd card's nice or micro sd and you can use it to uh, listen to music you can use it to uh, record too yeah it's nice being able to record so there you are yeah okay so we're almost through charging it's pretty basic 
Here's some specifications again for frequency coverage. How to use the antenna, just pretty basic straight up. Here's some sensitivity, pretty good little setup here. We got a 40 millimeter speaker, nice. And there we are. Okay, and I think we're done. And then this is just some warning stuff, so read that and be warned. <laughs> I think we, yeah, we spent some time on this, but you know what? This is smart to do. Um, if I don't do it, then you won't have it. <laughs> Boy, there's a lot of warnings in here. What is this? Like five pages of warnings? What the? Okay, now we're different language. Okay, so there it is. The manual done. Accessories out of the way. Let's get to the radio. All right, we're going to zoom it on down to this little bad boy. All right, cool. Now, normally, uh, when it's not connected to the app, it'll be blank. And to see it, you just hit power button, and the clock shows up power again and the radio turns on just so you know right now with the app control the clock will stand until I turn off the app um, I believe there's a certain button combination you can do to turn off the Bluetooth and disengage it instead of using the phone which is makes sense so let's go over dimensions this little guy uh, we have a width of two inches nice uh, we have a height here of three and five eighths of an inch then we have a thickness of one and one eighth of an inch it goes the base area in the back very cool little radio. I love this dark green. Yeah, like I said, I have a second radio, um, which I'll bring out right now. And you can see the difference. This one says a, like a light grayish color versus this dark green, which I, I actually like this dark green. I think it looks good. There you go. Now, it does not come with a micro SD card. I put mine in there. But there you are. Now, this is what it looks like in a normal off state. And you just tap it, and it comes up with the clock. But this will go off. Since I'm connected to the app, you can see there's a little thing that says app icon. It'll stay on. So there you go. Cool. All right. So yeah, let's do size comparison. I'll bring this up. Um, I always like to have a few items handy here. We're definitely not going to get bogged down. We're going to go pretty quickly over the buttons and we're turning on and have some fun. CC Pocket. Boom. This is Weather Radio 2. This does a little bit more with VHF. Um, just amazing what this can do for a little package. Now, AM performance, of course, goes to the pocket. This is definitely not a great AM radio. It's good for locals. If you're wondering right off the bat, um, here's CC Skywave, really making this thing look small. I mean, look at it. It's a tiny pocket. This thing even has a flashlight on it. Look at that. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, I'll be going over features here in a second. And of course, Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Rutekas shortwave radios from, can you guess it, China land. He's the master man who loves to tune it faster than you, man. <laughs> but there you go, deck of cards that can fit right in there. Cool. All right, so let's talk about features of the TR-111, and then we'll turn this on and we'll demo it and have some fun, see what we can find in the bands tonight. Um, yeah, so little guy. Uh, this The best thing about it is compact. That, that makes it a winner right there. Um, very cool for that. And, of course, what it can do, all the different bands it covers. Um, it's fun. So on the left-hand side, we have a little orange button. It says Light SOS. That controls the four LEDs here, white LEDs. And of course, the red one in the center is for SOS function. So you just double tap from off and it turns on our light. And it's a nice little area light. It's kind of diffused. It's nice. I like it. Single click, turn it off. And then uh, if you want to do SOS, uh, if you can't stand flashing lights or loud noises, uh, you might want to pause this part or fast forward. I believe you just press and hold the SOS. Okay, that was loud. Oh, we didn't wake up my wife. <laughs> and filming this rather late. Let's bring that back in. Okay. Yeah, these flashing lights tend to throw off the color on my camera. So there you go. Pretty loud. That'll get somebody's attention. Okay, micro SD card slot, as you can see, for listening to MP3s and, of course, recording. And it can support the 256 gigabytes, which means you have to format it in a special program for FAT32. Just to let you know if your operating system can't support that. Uh, make sure you format it to FAT32. Um, I always use like a 16 gig. I think there's a 16 in there, or a 32 is perfect. Uh, go to the front of the radio. We have buttons. So I'm going to go over them real quick. We have a light, or I'm sorry, a lock button. Um, lock the radio down. Um, of course, unlock the radio. Pretty basic, right? But it does some more than just that. Um, if you long press it, um, it does the locking. But if you short press, it cycles the shortwave segments. So when I'm on the shortwave band, I'll try to show that to you. It quickly uh, cycles the shortwave uh, segments, which is amazing. MP3 playback, uh, it does repeat function. So we can repeat all with this little button, repeat one track over and over, or repeat folder over and over, or, re or do a random. So that's nice. Here we have a tuning LED indicator. Turns red when the radio is on, tuned. 
Over here, you can see it's got a mute feature on the power button. So power button does that and it does sleep function as well. Um, in case I missed something, you can look at the manual <laughs> really quickly. Uh, band mod, because I don't want to get sl slowed down by these buttons. Because they do quite a bit of, they have like three, four functions. Uh, the, the band uh, button here, of course, does what it says when you press this uh, while the radio is on. It'll change the bands quickly, which is nice. Press and hold to do auto scan and save presets. I like that. Uh, press and hold on the weather band to start alert mode. And of course, from off, press and hold this to change those frequency ranges that you saw. Those four groups, you do it, you'll press and hold this, and you can change which group you need when the radio is off. Going to the memory button here. And the set button, um, the memory set button, uh, quick press, accesses your preset mode. So when the radio's on, accesses those saved presets. You get 99 presets per band, giving a total of 396 across four bands. Not bad. If you're using MP3 Bluetooth, it accesses your EQ settings by pressing that button. So something to know. And then from clock mode, um, if you press and hold this, it allows you to change the VHF uh, step settings from 5 kilohertz, 50 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz. 150 and 200 kilohertz steppings. Interesting thing though, on the radio, it does 25 kilohertz steppings, but from the app, it does five kilohertz steps. So there is that. Unfortunately, you have to use the app to get more fine tuning. Um, they haven't fixed that. Hopefully they, they fix that in the future, but it's the same on my other radio as well. Um, so yeah, we got volume up and down, uh, setting time, uh, wake to we got alarm feature there. You wake to uh, radio or buzzer, nice. We got a little 40 millimeter speaker there. One and a half inches, not bad. Right inside of the radio, we got our up and down buttons. So of course that can do a lot. Tuning incremental, up and down, browse up and down, quick tune up and down, which is amazing, which we're gonna show you in a moment. And uh, yeah, I love it. And then of course, fast forward, uh, track back, um, track forward, rewind, all the features you would find in MP3 and Bluetooth. Top of the radio, we have our 13 inch antenna, which does okay, but you definitely gotta hook up a wire for shortwave to get some decent reception. Uh, headphone, headphone experience real quick. Uh, there's no hiss, which is great. Um, FM antenna when plugged in. So if you plug in headphones, it will act as your FM antenna. Yeah, I don't think it acts as a shortwave antenna, but it does act as your FM antenna. I noticed no stereo, uh, FM stereo, but uh, expect weak lows, strong mids, moderate highs. On AM, it's bright tone. Same with shortwave. Uh, weather band is actually a lower tone, which is nice for talk. And of course, Bluetooth and MP3 can be adjusted a little bit with the EQ to make it sound better. Um, just, of course, different headphone experience. Can, it can vary. I just use a pair of inexpensive earbuds. There's your Type-C input to charge the radio. So they say a three-hour charge time. It's a 1,000 milliamp hour internal battery that can't be reused or replaced, but if you're keen enough, I'm sure you can take the radio apart and do it yourself. Just take your time um, if, you're, if you know what you're doing. Of course, your LEDs I showed you there. A little hook point for the lanyard. Nice. On the back here, we got some information, and we're going to turn it on here in a second. Just hang in there. Serial number and base, and of course, we have a bottom we can stand. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Um, quickly, FM reception report. Uh, it gets a three and a quarter star. Uh, on sensitivity, it was, very, uh, it was good. Excuse me. Uh, 75 stations found. Absolutely amazing. Uh, good as good selectivity. So a good three quarter star rating. So it's fair. Okay, good. Very good. Excellent. So out of five stars, this gets a three and a quarter star rating, which is above average for FM. Rock on. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. So hit the button here. Three, two, one. You'll never have me, sacred stone. <laughs> so we're going to do, you can pause it actually like that. Just hit the pause button. Power is pause. Um, of course, the volume, as you saw there. Um, I'm going to show you the app here in action as I do this. And you can kind of see some of them do show what's playing. It, it can read the file and send it to the phone, which is really neat. So let's bring that in and show you the app in action. I'm going to bring this up here a little bit. There we are. And of course, to get my color straight, we're going to bring Iron Man back in. There we are. So you can see the true color of the app and the radio. We'll go ahead and start spec them. Now I can do it from here, which is great from the phone. So if you had the phone handy already hooked up and on, um, you can start it up by hitting play. And we can turn up the volume. All right, so we're going to do this for about a few minutes and then we're going to go right to scanning some airwaves so we can hear. And then we'll do final thoughts.
room filling audio, which is nice. I think there might be some old time radio shows. Fast forward. Hello, Duffy's Tavern. What do you like me? Okay, it won't let me fast forward from here, but it should from here. Press and hold. Well, it looks like spring is here. Yes, spring. You're not. Well, you be more romantic. Don't spring me nothing to you. It means Eddie and me should get busy with the spring cleaning. Duffy, it's employers like you that give work a bad name. Besides, the joint don't look so. There you go. You get an idea. Pretty cool. It's actually showing the name of the file right here, which I think is awesome. Um, very cool if you're wondering what's playing on your little device. Sounds fantastic. Um, so let's go ahead and hook up a wire. And we're going to have some fun. We're going to hit the bands and see what's out there tonight. Um, now I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA, right in the Midwest. And I'm going to subfloor basement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up like a little 12-foot wire that I always have handy on my bench for this. And we're going to use it for shortwave and maybe even FM and everything else. Just leave it attached. And it's going to hook it right there. And this wire goes to the window blinds on the inside. Nothing outside. Nothing fancy. Something you'd find pretty easily online. $12 wire or something like that. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to change. We're going to do everything from the app here. Let's go ahead. Actually, I should probably leave that there for color. I really like that dark green. That really shows up nicely when I do that. So we could change the band right here. What we're operating on. There's FM. The way for the resumption of the peace process between our Turn that down. Okay, next one. All right. Not sure what we're on here. VHF. Okay, this is VHF mode. But let's go shortwave. AM. Okay, there we are. There we're in shortwave. So you can initiate a search. Of course, we can go through the meter bands. Let's show you the meter band. So meter band, you can press the little lock button. We're picking up a station here. I believe this is main. So here you can hit the segmented band part here quickly, like with the little button. So you can do everything on the radio if you have to. And the really neat thing is you can press and hold. You can browse tune or you can incremental tune. Or if you're like, hey, we're at the top of the band. It's it's about 12 o'clock at night. Here's the time, 12.07 a.m. Central Daylight Time. There's Chicago, Illinois, USA, like I mentioned. Let's get down to the bottom of the band. So you can press and hold this in quick tune, which I think is great. And you can see it's rocking. It's showing on the phone there as well. How fast we're going. Going pretty quick. So I'm going to go down the band. See what we can pick up on a browse. See if it can't find anything on its own. And if it doesn't, we'll manually enter in presets. but uh, Or manually enter in frequencies here. That's the nice thing about having the, the app. This is just a really cool thing. The app is kind of like an extra thing. You really don't need it. But it does help speed things along if you're in a hurry to get something entered in. I love that it has a keypad, which is nice. So it should stop at 5,000. Yeah. So we got the time signal. Turn that up. Okay, I'm two minutes behind. <laughs> All right, so. Let's go uh, just enter in frequency. So we would hit enter. Enter in your frequency. I think 4840 is like Tennessee. Enter. Times. It says a man was arrested at Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s campaign event in Los Angeles on Friday after he allegedly impersonated. So yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. So I think we're going the wrong way. Let's go back this way. We'll scan up a little bit. We'll course find the same stations we Mr. just found. Kenny was giving a speech to mark Hispanic Heritage Month by discussing the need. EQ only works on those MP3 or Bluetooth, just so you know, if you're wondering. So we can't pick up Cuba. Yeah, I'm not hearing it. Yeah. Oh well, we'll see if we can pick up some more here. So we'll let it scan up and then we'll go to uh, FM and AM and yeah, VHF, there's really not much happening in the evening. Pretty much during the day, you're two meters more active. You'll hear more now. I'm getting a little noise, I think, from being so close with the phone. You typically want the phone about two feet away. That's what I find to be good, two, three feet away from the radio. Um, like a good arm's length away. And you'll you'll avoid noise, but it's not too bad. God bless you, Brother Stair. This is Gerald Prillia. 
Brothers Fair stuff. Oh, I wanted to comment on Brother David Wilkerson. First off, the Christians, I mean the Empire. Okay, cool. Got music. Here's Cuba. Six megahertz. Barely coming in. And of course you have presets. It's pretty simple. Um, you just hit your preset button on here, your memo button, and then you navigate the presets by your side buttons. Very simple. Uh, I do auto scan and save with this radio just because it's simple and easy. It's a little harder to manually enter presets, but the manual showed it. We're not going to get into that detail. We're just having fun here with the band. Um, I think we're done pretty much with the shortwave. We'll move on. Let's move on to the FM band. So we're going to go ahead and just stop this. You get an idea how it works. Um, we can go over here, switch it. And it's a cool color. You can see the different colors. Six knots. Here's the weather band. Washington Lakeshore. The air temperature Channel was 57. One. The winds were west at two knots. Expect a slightly above average reception. Water beats. Southeast winds five Channel to 15 miles around one foot. Channel three. Seven percent. Channel four. The wind was calm. A channel five has been down for some reason. Six. And there's seven. Let's go back to one. Now you can record. So if you want to record some weather. The record button. Rest of tonight, south wind five to ten knots. And now you'll look, you'll Most see elapsed time here, and you'll see elapsed time on the radio. One foot. Thursday. R E stands for record. Five to ten knots, rising to ten to fifteen knots in the afternoon. Signal Most noise ratio, cloudy. signal strength. Waves around one foot. Thursday night, southeast wind five to ten knots. Back uh, we're in narrow FM evening. modulation. Then becoming east five to ten knots after midnight. Slight chance of showers through around midnight. Turn record off. Chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms okay. after midnight. And of course, uh, band. Around one foot. Press and hold. Now you're in weather alert mode. It scans. That's cool. It's showing alert here. It scans all seven uh, channels for an alert tone. It doesn't just scan on the one. It scans on all of them. So when I hit when I hit this to stop it, um, I think press and hold. Um, one to two feet building to two to it'll four. It'll might change the channel. Afternoon. Here is the forecast for the Try it again. Just landed on the one I was on. It should be scanning all of them. Hour. Yep, change on a different one there. 50%. Cool. Friday night, partly right. cloudy. Let's go to, there's Bluetooth mode. Nice, you can do Bluetooth pairing. Okay. MP3. PC, if you want to hook up the PC to access your files and also to uh, act as a PC speaker. Now the... Retechus V115 does the same thing, believe it or not. Libya. Oops, I hit it with my well, hand. Well, they've made it clear that they would they would filter uh, so here's your presets? through all these media. Se, se sacrifica mucho por los demás, muy impaciente. Oh, it is so... Human rights. The lyrics emphasize because the need of the hour is also to get to get the true extent. The fact uh, the foreign aid that can be sent to the region Oops. if people are you wait too long, it goes out of mode. It will have a very uh, immediate. Uh overcome the world God does this to give his servants time of course the delivery of foreign aid uh, and that's why we're hearing about reports that many residents uh, especially women are in need of so much uh, uh, so many uh, items medical items uh, our church they asked how she heard about her and God. Starting at 9 p.m. Capital One is a 
but with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations. To start your free online visit, covering residential. Wake me up when Southeastern Wisconsin. Our they help their kids avoid problems. Okay, so just. An excellent radio all around for FM. Now, VHF works really well, too. It's picking up some signals there. But uh, I do get fire calls on this, and uh, I can pick up sometimes a police frequency, but it's pretty rare nowadays. It's picking up all kinds of noise here on the VHF band. But, of course, you can fast-tune the VHF band by pressing and holding. Oh, just stopped it, but... Press and hold, and you can see it's going really quick now. And you can go through the whole band. Um, look at these split right here. As you can see, I'm just showing you a quick little demo of how quickly it goes through and what kind of coverage you can expect to have. It's going to run right through the FM band, of course. I'm just going to press and hold and keep it held. As you can see, that's how that works. And uh, yeah, it's just going to search for a narrow frequency, I believe. Yeah, it's on narrow FM. So yeah, that's how that works. Pretty basic. And then yeah, you set, set your two meter hams in there, and you're set, good to go. Let's uh, quickly. And an I'm listening dot org. And remember to visit I'm listening AM band. For all the it's good for locals mainly. It's a little radio is selecting AGC. We're almost done with the video. This is a Chicago station. Turn it up. It's got a purple color. Here's Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles to the east. WLW. You have to give it time. Notice how the tuning light came out a little later. 720 WGN. So if you can't pick up Zoomer. Again, just waiting to hear anything. Again, slow acting AGC. Uh, it's the same as during the day. It's it's good for locals mainly. Here's WSB Atlanta, Georgia. 600 miles to the south southeast. It's coming in. Nice. She got a raise, and then what happened was we had the executive producer just like. There's East Coast. Affected change in the attitude of delinquent youngsters toward life. So we got old time radio on 780 WBBM Chicago local. Um, so yeah, we're almost done. We're just gonna see if uh, can I get Nashville? Let's go down here. Just gonna click it down. Of course, I can quick tune, but that'd be crazy. Here's Nashville, Tennessee, about 430 miles to the south. My name is Corporal Bradley Joseph. So we can pick him up. Let's see if we can get 880. I'll pass 850. KOA, Denver, Colorado, 890 miles to the west. It's picking it up. It's coast to coast plan. CJBC, Toronto, and we're done, I think. Yeah, we'll call it here. Yeah, here's, here's New York, New York. About 750 miles to the northeast. She's got to wait for it to come in louder. There you go. Okay, cool. Let's turn it off. Uh, I paused it there. Of course, you can pause the audio on the thing. Of course, you got battery level, frequency. You saw all the stuff on there. It's pretty neat. So go ahead and turn this off. Um, again, I, I reviewed the same radio, just a different color. Um, pretty much the same exact features and the same exact reception capability. So there is a Retechus. Uh, TR111 uh, for the price for 46 bucks. Yeah, that's the most I'd want to spend on it. Anything more than that, uh, I'd be looking at something else. I'd probably be looking at like a R108. You guys know what that is, right? Casio down. I've got one of these here on sale. You can pick these up about the same price. 
does quite a bit more, but it's not as pocket friendly. <laughs> Big difference there. So something to think about uh, when you're shopping these radios. So yeah, it gets a thumbs up from me. I really like it because it's, it's just so unique and different. Uh, two, if you like this brand, uh, you like Retecas, so you want to see more, hit subscribe at the bell icon. And three, comment below what you think about the TR111. Uh, do you like the green color uh, versus the other brands out there with this lighter color? Uh, tell me what you think. Which one would, would you pick? Which color do you like? I really dig in this dark green. I think it's awesome. That's just me. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching this. Take care. And we'll see you in my next video.